can't believe what you have done. Well, you have well and truly finished me off good style. Do you know that? Yeah, well, it's what you deserved. What I deserved? I have never worked so hard in all my life. And you go and tell Karen I'm a fraud. God only knows what she must be thinking. Is that all you care about, what she might think? I am not carrying on with her. I only lie to you because you kick off every time my name's mentioned. You gave me no choice. It's all my fault now, is this? Karen is my head of department, for God's sake. Of course I'm going to speak to her if I run into trouble. That's what she's there for. What about today? Me seeing her in a pub. What was all that about? That's the pub all the teachers go to in term time. I had me dinner there every Friday. With her? Yes, with her, sometimes. We arranged to meet so we could have a gab before we went into school. I lied to you because I know how insecure you get. I didn't want you getting all paranoid over nothing. And this is the thanks I get. Well, even if I have got it wrong about you and Karen, I, I still don't regret telling her, you know. And if I am paranoid, Jimmy, is this any wonder when our whole life is based on lies? The look on her face when you told her. Everything I've ever worked for! To cast off my old image! To be treated with a bit of self-respect for once in my life! And look at me now! Back to square one, so no more scally! That's all you've ever been, isn't it? Even when you were pretending to be a teacher, you were still a scally in a Zeus. Well, God only knows what's going to happen now. Because I'll tell you something. Karen won't turn a blind eye. I could end up in Nick! Well, you should have thought about that in the first place, then, shouldn't you? If this teaching lark is so important to you, Jimmy, go to university. You do it the hard way, like everybody else. <laughs>